Good afternoon and welcome to Seattle's Eastside Real Estate Team's podcast. I am Dan Edwards, Managing Broker of the Eastside Real Estate Team. Sorry for being late. We're normally on time, but uh, I had some technical difficulties um, today and we are in our new studio that is yet to be finished. This is just the beginning. Uh, nice power red wall here. Um, I am your host, Dan Edwards, Managing Broker of the Eastside Real Estate Team. We are live on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we'd love your comments, happy to answer any questions that you might have during our podcast. Uh, make sure you do subscribe and rate our podcast as we go. You can find us on Spotify, um, uh, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and much, much more. Now, we are going to have a great show today. We're welcoming one of our newest members to the team, uh, Kevin Cortina. And then we're also going to be having some conversations with uh, our good friend, Tucker Maxwell. Um, but first, as always, let's get into the conversation about real estate. Um, so today we're going to talk about the value of utilizing a real estate agent when you purchase new construction. Now, many times uh, a lot of buyers will get busy. Uh, one of the things that they like to do on the weekends is swing by new construction. And I got to say, I enjoy uh, stopping by as well. Um, a lot of reasons why people stop by new construction is they're curious what's going up in their neighborhood. And, and other times they're thinking maybe it's time for a new home. So they saunter out to the new home facility. Um, one of the biggest challenges that you could run into while visiting new construction is you don't know that you are not represented. So you're heading out to new construction. The friendly, awesome agent there gets compensated by helping you buy the builder's product. So why hire a real estate agent? Well, the reason number one to hire a real estate agent while buying new construction is because you're going to get representation. And that means that not everything that a um, builder's representative says is always in your best interest. You wanna make sure that when you look at a contract that you look at through the eyes of protecting you. When the agent at the site presents you the contract they're presenting uh, an exciting new opportunity to buy a brand new home, right? So they're going to sell it. So the first reason, of course, is to protect yourself. Another reason to uh, hire a, um, a real estate agent to help you in buying new construction is that agent knows not just that development, but the area in general. So um, they are going to be area experts in ju not just that, that um, uh, facility. Um, it's great for them to know perhaps which school district this goes to, but knowing that perhaps another resale home nearby that maybe was built five or six years ago uh, goes to a different school that may be a school of your choice. So reason number two to hire uh, someone uh, agent while doing that is to ensure someone with local knowledge knowledge of not just the development, but of the neighborhoods and the cities and the other neighborhoods and cities that match that buyer's profile. Now, the number three reason is uh, hiring one kind of relates to the first reason, and that is assistance with customization and upgrades. So assistance with customization and upgrades is some builders will and some builders won't allow for upgrades. And it takes an agent who can fight for what you're looking for to help steer you in the right developer, the right builder uh, that can give you the customization you want, or to at least ensure that home is built uh, to the standards that you expect in the beginning. When you run to a developer or builder without that, you are going to end up running into the possibility of not getting what you want and just getting what they give you. So um, uh, number four reason for hiring somebody is um, that agent should be a specialist, not only in um, residential uh, contracts, purchase and sale contracts, but also in each of the specific builder contracts. So builder contracts are much different and they're filled with a lot more legalese and an experienced real estate agent that knows the area and knows multiple builders will know what is normal and what's not normal. So being able to dig into that. So there you have it. We've got four reasons. You want to make sure you have somebody representing you. You want to make sure you have an agent who knows the area. You want to ensure that that, uh, that agent can help you with upgrades and also understanding uh, you, the uniqueness of the builder contracts and helping you understand what that means to you. So if you're thinking about buying new construction, I highly encourage you to reach out and find a, um, a very educated, well-educated and hardworking a negotiator, real estate agent for you. And that is our Real Talk segment 
for today. Um, next up, after this short commercial break, we're going to welcome our good friend, Dr. Maxwell from Guild Mortgage. Come back after this short break. <music> 